Praise God, praise God. What a mighty God we serve. Our God is good. Our God is merciful and kind. And we bless him. I want to encourage you with the word of God this morning about suffering. And I call it learning obedience through suffering. The Bible tells us in Hebrews chapter 5, verses 8, 7 and 8, that during the days of Jesus' life on earth, he offered up prayers and petitions with loud cries and tears to the one who could save him from death. And he was heard because of his reverent submission. Although he was a son, he learned obedience from what he suffered. And once made perfect, he became the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him. Jesus Christ learned obedience through what he suffered. Some of us these days, we don't want to hear about suffering. We want this ready-made Christianity where everything is ready-made. We don't want to suffer. We don't want anything to touch us. But I want you to know that that is not the Christianity that the Bible teaches. Go and read this Hebrews 5 from 7 and 8. It says that Jesus learned obedience through suffering. Have you ever wondered from the time Jesus was 12 till he was 30, what, where was he? What was he doing? Those were the silent years. And from this scripture here, we can read that Jesus went through the experiences that you and I are going through right now. The Bible says that he, he learned obedience through suffering. He suffered. Jesus suffered. So he is able to serve to the uttermost. He is able to serve to the uttermost. Hebrews 7.25, he says he's able to serve to the uttermost. Those who draw near to God through him. He could only be a perfect savior through perfect suffering. Some of us now, our suffering is like you are the victim of life. You are the worst person. The Bible already tells us that what you are going through is the same problem I am going through. Your problem is not unique to you. Your problem is not unique to you. You are not the only one that has problems. You are not the only one that has problems. Your brothers all over the world, they are going through the same thing. First Peter 5, 9 says, resist him standing in faith and in the knowledge, hallelujah, that your families of believers all over the world are going through the same kind of suffering. It's there in the Bible, First Peter 5, 9. I am going through the same problem that you are going through in one way or another. There is nobody that is not going through problem. That's what the Bible says. Don't let nobody come and tell you, I don't have problem. Everybody is going through the same problem in one way or another. So stop making yourself a victim. Stop making yourself, oh, woe me, my case is the worst. No. Everybody has problems. Everybody has challenges. You just need to know how to manage your, your, your challenge. Remembering some of the promises of God, like that promises you that he's going to work everything out for your good. Romans 8, 27, it says all things will work together for your good. Those are the kind of promises that God says he will turn your suffering into joy. You should count your pain, joy, and all those promises. Your problems are not unique to just you alone. Everybody is going through the same problem. It's time to get up and dust yourself and know that God is with you in that challenge. God is with you in that problem. And God will see you through. Amen. I want you to be encouraged in the goodness of God. I want you to know that your problem is not unique to you. 
you and I are going through the same problem in one area of our life or another. There is nobody that doesn't have problem. But when we anchor in Christ, when we come to Christ, he will help us because he himself had to be qualified. And the only way he qualified was through the things that he suffered. Amen. So be encouraged in the goodness of God. And I want you to know that I'm rooting for you. I am standing with you and you will never be put to shame in the name of Jesus. Let's pray. Father, we thank you. I bless you. Thank you for your children. We thank you, Father God. In our suffering, you are perfecting us. In our suffering, you are making everything beautiful. In our suffering, you are making us stronger. In our suffering, you are making us to become who you want us to be. Hallelujah. Blessed be God. You know, I'm rounding up, but this story just comes to mind about Joseph. Joseph was a spoiled child. Joseph was a spoiled child. His father had spoiled him so much. But Joseph had a great destiny. And the only way Joseph could enter that destiny was to go through the school of hard knocks, to go through suffering. Hallelujah. Joseph had to go through pain. Joseph had to be trained. He was he had no home training. His father spoke him, coat of many colors, this and that and this and that. He needed the training. He needed to suffer. He needed to go to school so that he can be able to handle his destiny. In Genesis 50, 20, Joseph said to his brothers, you meant it for evil, but God, but God, but God meant it for good. To use it to save lives. Sometimes there are things that people are planning. They meant it for evil, but it's on your CV, right? It's on your CV. It's part of your CV. It's part of what you must go through to become the person that God created you to be. So stop crying. When this pain comes, say, Holy Spirit, teach me. What am I to take from this experience? I am able because you are by my side. You are able to take me through. Hallelujah. God bless you. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel, share these messages with other people so that they can be blessed and support the work with your prayers and your seed of faith. I want you to hold my hand, hallelujah, and help me to take the message of the goodness of God to the nations that await it. God bless you. I love you and I celebrate you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Amen. Remember those problems are not meant to kill you. All of us are going through it. But as we trust God, he will bring us out of it. Sometimes you see me shining, shining like this. You wouldn't know that I've just finished crying. We are all going through one thing or another. Anybody that tells you they don't have problem, they are lying. Hallelujah. Because the Bible says we are all all of us going through problems at one time or another. God bless you. I will always tell you the truth because the truth does the work of setting us free. Thank you. Bye-bye.